Good afternoon. I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to check in and talk about last night's results. But first and foremost, I just want to give a huge shout out and gratitude to thank you for everybody that tuned in last night to our Super Tuesday coverage for To The Point on WPTV Channel 5. I am so grateful to each and every one of you that tuned in on television, that watched on our app. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you all. Now guys, let's talk about last night's results. Can you believe it? Super Tuesday has never been more super. I mean, oh my gosh, what did we see? What did we learn? Who are the winners? Who are the losers? First and foremost, we know exactly who the winners are of last night. Joe Biden literally blew out everybody when it came to Super Tuesday, when only a few weeks ago, other analysts were saying that Joe Biden's campaign was DOA. Guys, he, he wasn't wrong. As he was leaving New Hampshire, he literally said, you know, South Carolina is my firewall and we're gonna just keep looking ahead. We haven't even awarded a third of the delegates. Like the time is now and he delivered. So crazy. Who would have thunk after winning South Carolina, he would get that kind of the energy and that momentum, which is exactly what his campaign needed. But before we talk about his big win last night, let's talk about the losers. Guys. Literally, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg spent over $500 million to run on Super Tuesday, to literally like, hit, like focus in on all of the states voting on Super Tuesday. He ignored the early primary states. He just funneled money in. People were mad. They're like, he can't buy this election. This is ridiculous. What does he think he's doing? And guess what? He didn't buy himself an election. He literally bought himself 12 delegates and the win in America Samoa. Yikes. As of this morning, he has suspended his presidential campaign and he is throwing all of his weight and resources behind Joe Biden. And that is who he is supporting. Now, Joe Biden is actually not the Democratic nominee for president just yet, but we will see what happens. Let's talk about Elizabeth Warren really quickly. Um, you're running for president and you can't even win your own home state. I am absolutely flabbergasted at the fact that Elizabeth Warren lost. Not only did she lose really bad last night, she literally also lost in her home state of Massachusetts. Do you know who carried Massachusetts? Let me just quick tell you, Joe Biden. That is insane. So unfortunately, as of right now, Joe, uh, we know that Elizabeth Warren has sent her on some emails. She's talking with some of her advisors. She's talking with some of the staffers, trying to figure out the best path forward. She's getting a lot of pressure to drop out. She's also getting pressure to pick a candidate and support the candidate. And that candidate is who is going to be Joe Biden. That's what they're asking is for her to rally her support behind him. Because after everything that she has been through on that stage with Bernie Sanders, do you really think that she could support Bernie Sanders? I would be speechless, but then again, crazier things have happened in politics. I mean, 2016 presidential election, I'm looking at you. Anyways, let's talk about Bernie Sanders last night. So Bernie Sanders last night, he had an okay night. I mean, he did okay. So he won, these are the states, he won Colorado, Utah, Vermont, his home state. Elizabeth Warren could take some pointers from him. In California. California was the biggest get on the board with over 400 delegates. Followed behind it was Texas. Texas was awarding over 200 delegates. And you know what? Joe Biden was like, hey, Bernie Sanders, watch this. And he took Texas. Joe Biden also won in Alabama, Arkansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and my home state of Virginia. He just totally swept the entire country with the exception of the four states that Sanders won. And that tells me something. That tells me that Joe Biden is resonating well with African-American voters. He's also resonating well with suburban women and that Bernie Sanders should be scared because as of right now, the delegate count, in case you guys are keeping track like I am, I even have it on my little notebook here. Joe Biden picked up 380 delegates last night. Uh, Bernie Sanders picked up 328. Elizabeth Warren picked up 28. Bloomberg picked up 12 and Tulsi Gabbard, who's still running and all of us are wondering why, she has won. Now, overall, the delegate count is Biden leading again, Bernie Sanders. He's Biden is leading with 433, while Sanders has 388, and Elizabeth Warren has 36, Bloomberg has 12, and Gabbard still has one. So what does that mean? Now, the magic number on delegate count is 1,991. Going into last night, 
Analysts everywhere, as well as myself, were saying, look, a good night for Joe Biden is that he means a disparity of roughly 150 delegates or less between him and Bernie Sanders. If Bernie Sanders had a lead of delegates between 300 to 400 over Joe Biden, it was done. And in fact, Bernie Sanders would become the de facto nominee because there was no way to catch him. So what we saw out of last night, uh, Joe Biden did really well and he's leading in all the delegate counts. Um, and there's a chance. This is actually now becoming a race between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, and it'll be very fascinating to see. We still have other states coming in for primaries. We've got a primary coming in next week on the 10th. And then we also have another Democratic debate, as well as the Florida primary, and some other states will be joining us on March 17th to vote. So literally, there's still other states that are, that are in play. The entire country has not voted, but there are other states that are in play and other delegates that are going, and New York is the next big get. And it'll be interesting to see where and what happens in terms of Bernie Sanders. Is it Joe Biden? Is Elizabeth Warren still running? We don't know. But nevertheless, last night was actually, it wasn't a blowout by any stretch of the imagination. It was just one of those nights where you're like, wow, like who would have thought this was gonna happen? You know, when Joe Biden jumped in at the beginning of the race, he was like total fan favorite. Everyone's like, yes, amazing. This is gonna be fantastic. And then he had these horrible debate performances. I mean, he couldn't even stay awake. He was stumbling through everything from his entering speech to his closing speech to the debate. It was just weird. And then South Carolina happened and all of a sudden he got like some reinvigoration into his campaign, picked up some steam. He earned a lot of earned media by the press just kind of being like, oh my gosh, Joe Biden won South Carolina. Yeah, Joe Biden was banking on winning South Carolina. And then that led him into Super Tuesday with this momentum or this joe momentum as he has coined it. And here we are. So guys, what do you think? Do you think that South Carolina is what really helped put some wind in his sails and all the earned media? Do you think that it was the endorsements by Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, and Beto O'Rourke last minute? Or do you think that people are just kind of like, Bernie Sanders? Like, no. What are your thoughts? Who are you rooting for? If you are in a state that has not voted, what are you gonna do? Do you know who you're gonna vote for? Drop it in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for just watching and tuning in. I really appreciate all of you. You can catch me this Sunday in WPTV Channel 5 for another To The Point show, our standard Sunday show. We're on at 10 a.m. after Meet the Press. We'll be talking about Super Tuesday. We'll be talking about Florida politics. I hope you will tune in and have a fantastic day and a great rest of your week. I'll see you soon. Bye.